What's up, it's Yuris here and this is Tattoo Shop Talk and this is new segment so it's more techie talk so Tattoo Shop Tech Talk and today I want to talk about cartridge needles. I have a bunch of very popular brands here and I would like to talk about cartridge needles based on price and based on quality which I can only tell from what I heard from feedback from other tattoo artists and from my personal experience. So let's start and this alignment is based on price. So we have at the expensive end Cheyenne craft needles. I didn't include the classic Cheyenne needles because we don't use them in the shop and they are, yes, they are the most expensive. Are they good or bad? That's that's a subject that's been talked about a lot and none of our artists really use them. So let's leave them out. But these are new. They are cheaper than the classic, the original ones, but they're still the most expensive ones because they come in a box of 10. Next in the price range would be these Quadron needles, which comes in this beautiful box and there's 20 of them in there. Next in the price is this black box without name on it. It's from a very popular supplier in Europe and that's all I want to say about them. Next one is Easy Cartridges, which is a bit more expensive now, I think, that they used to be, but I'm not sure about that, but they've changed a lot. Next one down the line is T-Tech, and then we have Elite Cartridge Needles, and at this end we have Unistar. Don't remember the price of them, but I remember that they were cheap. I also don't remember wh where we got them from. So that would be price lineup. Now I want to talk about consistency. By consistency I mean like when you use needles, is it every time the same? Is, is there any hiccups or stuff like that? So Cheyenne craft needles tend to be consistent, same as the original Cheyenne needles from what we all have heard and experienced. These ones tend to be consistent as well as Quadrant. And Quadrant has been always popular with their quality, with their consistency. This is one of them things what you get is worth what you pay for. So good job Quadrant. Next one would be these needles and they are not consistent at all. These in particular are 14 liner and we had like one needle working just fine, other needle is working but for example if you imagine the tip of needle, usually the needle is kind of on the bottom side but on some needles it slides kind of one side or other so consistency have not been great. Easy Revolution cartridges in comparison to old Easy's, these seem, seem to be a lot better and they seem to improved a lot. So these seem to be a lot more consistent, a lot better. Don't think we had any hiccups with them yet in comparison to old ones when you have to throw out like every third needle. T-Tech needles, they've been also kind of popular with their consistency because they, they just work every time and all the needles are the same. Thumbs up for T-Tech Elite needles. Elite needles not always are great but this is also the thing you get what you pay for and they're not that expensive so you would expect that there could be some inconsistency with needles. Same thing with the Unistar Ultimate cartridge needles. They are on that 50-50 range, so they might be rattling, might be catching, might be a bit different from one another. Price quality, you know what I mean. And same thing to consistency also applies to the quality. So the build quality, like all the T-Tech needles or Cheyenne needles, they seem to have just better plastic. It feels better, it looks better, while all the cheaper brands they just look cheap and they have like all sorts of errors in build. Like you can see here, there's for example on a tip, it's not really round, it goes round and then it has a little notch on it. So like sometimes it's not a big deal, but sometimes it can be a big trouble, especially if your needle are like misaligned or the grip is sideways or something like that. So quality wise, Xi'an, from what we know, it's fine as always. Quadron is great as always. Cheaper kinds are not really there. Tetec is solid, easy, looks good now as well. Next thing I want to talk about is comfort of use and it's not like how you hold the needle or something, but from zero. When you get a package, you open it and you start to use it. So let's start with this end and Cheyenne seems to be fine, it opens up easily and because there's only 10 of them inside it's easy to get them out. But these needles look weird, they look super bulky so I would guess maybe they tried to work on, on the people who didn't like the skinny needles from them before and they, they just like let's make them big 
or they just had too much plastic. I think the ones who love the classic Cheyenne needles, they will not love these because they weigh different. Maybe to, they're aiming to people who really don't like the old ones because of the shape. And also these are cheaper. But our artists didn't like them, so they look weird, but they, they work. Next down the line, Quadron. Let's open it up from the side with a sticker. It opens up and it comes out. And it also goes back pretty easy, which is nice, and you can have your stuff organized. And I have to compliment this packaging. It just looks awesome. It looks fancy. Cartridges themselves are the classic shapes of cartridges. They're, they're the ones everyone know. So they work great. Then it's this box. For some reason, I prefer when they pack like this because you can open them, get them out easily, put them back so they stay more organized. Kind of classic shape of cartridges. They have the cheaper build quality and like I mentioned, they're inconsistent. Good words about easy cartridges again, because they're like little drawers. So you can open them up, use them, put them back. Think you can really neatly organize them, stack them and have your little, little drawers coming in and out. These are also sorted by colors. So if you stack boxes, you can see that one color is liners, other color is shaders, third color is magnum. So that also helps a bit when you work. T-Tech here on a comfort of use is a bit sketchy. So you open them up. They are a bit bulkier. They, they're very tightly packed. So you get them out. They sort of catch already. And when you're trying to put them back in, there's always something catching, always some sort of trouble. And on our needle shelf, it always ends up with a big mess because you are working, you need a needle, you, you take one, then you're like, oh, I'll put it back later. And it just ends up with a pile of needles that you have to organize afterwards. Also working with these needles, some people don't like that they are a bit chunky on the end. So I even heard people like cutting them a bit off and things like that. But in our shop, people who work them, they find them fine and had no trouble. And then back to Cheyenne, they look bulky as hell. So that might be an issue. Elite cartridges opens from this end and then it's the same issue of getting stuff in and out because they overlap, they catch. So if you need one, it's a bit tricky to get it up. So this part is a bit uncomfortable, but the bigger trouble is inconsistency of them. Unistar opens from top. You can see that there's been a bit of saving on a cardboard on a on the packaging so maybe that's a good thing maybe it's recycled but from the point of packaging they're fine but uh, they are sketchy to work for because sometimes you have to throw out like few in a row and stuff like that otherwise it's just the same old cheap cartridge needle and last but definitely not least is safety and that's what the original makers of Cheyenne machine and cartridges are always saying that they have the membrane they have the quality control so when you work with them nothing gets sprayed back into machine and leaks somewhere so you avoid cross-contamination and you avoid flooding your machine and that can mess up your machine obviously you can forget about any warranties if you flooded then you obviously didn't work with the original cartridges i don't know how other brands look on it and like with with cheyenne machine when it's all closed like this and you have some leaking happening you have no idea if it's there or not if you have a bit more open type machine like this kind of something else then at least you can see that something went wrong i don't know what happens if the original cartridge breaks and how you can control it but that might be an issue so i would guess that Cheyenne should be there ahead of everyone else that's their kind of invention and that's what they claim but the main thing is is that membrane inside also the expensive and consistent black box have membrane let me double check you can even see that it's there. Easy needles also have membrane now. T-Tech, on the other hand, don't. And even the very cheaper Elite needles have membrane. T-Tech doesn't have membrane and then they have never had it since day one. They have new needles, I think they called T-Tech 2. Let's see, maybe there's a membrane there. Elite, they are a bit more expensive, but way more inconsistent than T-Tech, but they also have membrane and Unistar have the good old rubber band like T-Tech. And when you talk about flooding the machine, like it's obviously it has to be positioned somehow upside down or something. So then there should be like some awkward position how you work so it can leak in there. They also might something spray in there, but when people talked about that leaking, I was like, well, it's one of those things that might be 
might happen it not like it definitely will happen so i just put a bit of water in there to see how it works and let me show you how obvious it is how it how much it leaks i have some tools to help me with bam let's put this here and let's zoom in so what's going on here now is the t-tech cartridge and a bit of water color mixed with water i had a nice green color and i'll just put it inside the cartridge and it starts to drip instantaneously or instantly one of them words if you push in it it comes out even more so this is how bad it is if you don't have a membrane in your cartridge and imagine that's happening in this kind of machine you have no idea that it happened all the stuff goes in there and your engine is down again if you have this situation you can at least control and see when stuff goes bad awesome another thing to keep in mind is that just the membrane is there doesn't mean that it's good one function of the membrane is to keep all the liquids and all the nasty stuff inside but also another function of it is kind of to pull the needle back and what happens there sometimes with cheaper cartridges they just snap sometimes it's with a longer session sometimes they just snap when you work because they're probably low quality rubber or something in the long dem lines and that can also probably happen with a cheaper membranes so they can crack they can leak they can snap they can also wear off in a longer session so the needle doesn't get that far back or it's just less resistant or something what it affects exactly i'm not sure but it should affect something Ooh, i'm green now fun part let's open them up and see what they are made of start with t-tech because i have it here already bam what do we have here to this situation and a little rubber band now let's grab the unistar unistar needle seems to have same kind of story little rubber band that pulls it back and that's it pew, pew. seems like an interesting copy but on unistar the plastic bit is way closer to the tip of needles let's go to the next one elite cartridge needle there's a little bit of membrane action go safety came off pretty easy so i don't know how tight it it holds after big sessions and i don't want to check it on uh, used needles but it came apart very easy so maybe that's something to keep in mind easy in one of the older videos i was taking one of the easy needles apart and that was more like the unistar kind of situation and this looks a lot better even just looking at it back bit different color this looks nice okay okay it slid off but it didn't come off that easy or maybe i just want to believe it but there's a bit of some plasticky bit which holds it up there good 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 easies have been good boys and they haven't improved in so many things or maybe somebody else took over a company or something like that i don't know the history of them they're doing good they're doing good next one is the black box inconsistent expensive black box it has the membrane it looks very similar to elite the top part holds on very good let's check the elite yeah but the main idea is that at least they have membrane they have that concept of being safe on not flooding your machine or not spreading some bad stuff quadron what they have in there is something that looks like a membrane but it's only the it's only the fun, fancy rubber band that pulls it back and it have holes on all sides let's see how it performs with our colorful water and quadron have lost all a points because they don't have a membrane i should have inspected it closer but from from the first look it looked like it's covered on the bottom so it seemed like a membrane but it was not how disappointing and the last one the original craft needles from Shayan yeah Shayan has the good old black membrane just which slid just off the back as it goes super easy so that's a bit sketchy on this part check it out super easy slides off and even comes back even easier but otherwise it's the classic stuff what they have and what they advertise I hope it works i have that i hope they've done their research and i would guess that when this is on and it's pressed against something in there it might be a bit tighter so that's it this was my fun of taking stuff apart and saying my opinions about cartridge needles i must say doing this quadrant have lost some points in my scale of being useful because they're consistent and all that but since they don't have that membrane 
they are in the same kind of area where T-Tech is and price wise they tend to be way more expensive. So I would stick to T-Tech if I had to choose. What's your opinion on these needles? What needles do you use? Which needles maybe you can recommend me to check out and see how good or bad they are and recommend for our artists to work with. Also, if there's anything important I forgot to mention, then let me know so I can do that in a future episodes. And let us know if you have your favorite needles that you use and why they are your favorite. And a little note to add at the end that this video is not about what tattoos you can do and which needle pulls what sort of line because that depends on your skill and I've seen people doing amazing work with very cheap needles and I've seen people doing really bad work with the top end machines and top end needles. So this is not story about that. This is story about price and quality based on my own and artist experiences, reviews and feedbacks. Okay, friends, and now some final thoughts on this situation. So, these guys are weird. Like, maybe they're good for something super specific, but they're also pricey. It's only 10 of them in a box, but they work. And they have the safety feature. Mr. Quadron, great needles, like always. For that price, I would expect that safety membrane, but they have their advanced suspension system. Nevertheless, good cartridges comes with the cost, don't have the safety feature for those who that matters. Cheap end is obviously cheap end and you get what you pay for. And if I have to pick some favorites, then I would go with T-Tech for the cartridges without safety membrane. They are good, good price. They come from Canada and at least in Denmark, there's also some good deals and all that postal situation. So they arrive quick and you don't have to pay extras I think. And for those whom safety membrane is important and it matters and you don't want to flood your machine or it's just important for your style of work or whatever reasons, then my favorite would be easy cartridges because the price is all right, performance is all right, can't complain about it. They very neatly packed. It's easy to work with them and organize so they color matched, color organized. So my favorite in this lineup would be T-Tech without membrane and Easy's with the membrane. See you in the future episodes of Tattoo Shop Techie Talk. If you like this episode, press that like button. And if you want to follow more stuff like this, then subscribe to channel. And if you want to know when the fresh episode is out, then there's a little bell icon next to the subscribe button. See you in the future episodes and have fun working.